Hi, I'm Brandon, the lead programmer, map designer, and project manager, and got second place two years ago for the Congressional App Challenge. My name is Travis. I took the lead in character design, helped program character movement, and came up with new ideas for the app. I'm Jacob, the lead in creating a learning quest. I also critiqued the app after both Travis and Brandon programmed and designed it. When students can't afford school, they most likely will not even go to the college or they'll drop out midterm. Or some people in younger classes get bored easily. With Continuum, this all changes. Continuum is for all ages. We strive to make sure that Continuum would meet everyone's needs. If you are finding yourself bored, then you will be encouraged by all the features that Continuum rewards you with. To get started, make an account which connects you through PlayFab Servers, a free hosting website that we scripted into working. If you forgot your password, you can also request to get a new one via email. Once making an account, talk to Echo, this friendly little guy bot over here. Once completing a topic side, topics will turn from red to green, showing you can access them. Normal boring learning websites like Khan Academy might seem daunting, but with Continuum you'll be inspired. The pet shops and personalization shops allow you to buy at many items with credits they earn from completing lessons and minigames. There is a wide variety over skins that you can choose from, and then... And when we say a lot, we mean a lot. Instructors can apply for a position by filling a form inside of the game which upon completion sends it to us and we can start the review process. It connects to Google Forms which we can view as a spreadsheet. There is a constructed zone letting people know if more topics to learn are in the works, which is great to inspire people to get excited for new topics. Walk over to the globe and select Earth. Here you can pick a topic for math in my case. Addition and a lesson, which I will choose lesson one. Then go over to the podium and start learning. We wanted file storage to be as low as possible, so Brandon created a script that allows you to connect to YouTube and grab the videos that is unlisted so the video is not saved local. When getting above 95% in any learning lesson video, you get met with a quiz to refresh your skills on the lesson. This app is great for stability. We made sure that no matter what platform you're using, you will still have a great experience. Assets have a set of LODs for rendered distance, so if we want to port to mobile phones in the future, we can do it with ease. The game engine used for this game is Unity. The language used and manuscripts are C Sharp and JSON. There are over 10,000 lines of code put into this game. We spent hundreds of hours making this educational platform to fit everyone's needs.